How do you like the split? Breaking up the linebackers and you getting to focus on, on the inside guys. Oh, well, it's, it's good because you can kind of concentrate on what it is that they have to do. You know, a, a lot of times a linebacker coach has all three of them. And then you got you to get somebody else to coach that outside guy because he's always out in space. We have the luxury of having a, a big time coach coaching that guy. How do you and Brian Odom communicate? How do you guys, you know, make sure you're on the same page so that all the inner working pieces are working right? You know, every day in meetings, I mean, we, we, we talk about the things that uh, affect everybody. There's going to be a time when the, the, the three of them are going to be in the box and playing. Um, uh, most of the time with the people that we see, um, you know, that guy's going to be out in space. But, he, but, but we still have to work together. You know, you just feel better about uh, what you're going to get out there. You know what I'm saying? It's good stuff. One of the mandates of being in that room is going to be you got to be a great football player. Um, there's things that, that guys, some guys bring to the table that's different than others. And then, you know, the guys that, that are able to do it all are the guys that are, are guys that are going to be able to play for us. And, you know, you look at, in our room, you look at, you look at a guy like Brandon Lee who's played a lot of games in the past and he's played uh, a lot of roles here, and he knows football. He's an outstanding athlete, a great person, and um, he's kind of the leader of that room. He went out and earned that spot. You know, he went out and played his way into being able to take the first rep in the game. You know, from that point, as a, uh, additionally as a football player, he's an extremely smart player. Kale and, and, and Therese are guys that have been in the fire and they've played a lot. They're, they're veteran guys, and uh, so I'm leaning on them uh, to be our, our, our bell cows. And then, um, you know, Aubrey Miller's coming around. Uh, Jamal Brooks is starting to come around a little bit. I got a guy named Tavon Ross who's had a long career here, and um, I'm excited about Tavon and the things he can do. And I want to talk about Ronnell Perkins. Ronnell moved down from safety this uh, past spring. Uh, he's progressed very, very well over the past, you know, six months. And he's putting his posi put himself in a position to play some meaningful downs there at, at the outside linebacker spot. Those three guys, along with Gerald Nathan, are going to be some guys that are going to touch the field and, and do, do some great things. You know, Therese Hall and the experience you mentioned with him, I mean, tell me everything he brings to this group, because it's a lot, isn't it? Well, he brings energy, he brings passion, he brings experience, uh, he brings a love for the game. Uh, just everything, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of, it's, that's the guy you wanted that position. Kale Garrett. He understands the package, uh, knows the ins and outs. Uh, he can get everybody lined up, uh, plays extremely hard, practices hard. Uh, again, a guy that you want to have because um, even if things break down, he's that type of guy that might be able to go and, uh, and get it fixed for you. Expand, if you would, on uh, Jamal and Aubrey. You know, Aubrey, uh, I, I think he started off as an outside guy when he first got here and then um, made the transition inside. And I was able to coach him in the spring, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, Jamal uh, was out during the spring with, with the knee, but he's stepped right in and, and, and looks like, you know, he's got a, a, a grasp of what it is that we're doing. Um, they're, all, they're both going in the right direction. There's nothing that we don't do. We're going to rush the passer. We're going to play nine technique. We'll be in the box. We'll be have the man on number two. There'll be even times when we'll be the post safety. Um, so there's there's nothing that, that that we don't do on the field. Their knowledge of the game, they got to be a headsy player, and they got to know where everybody fits. Um, and all that being said, that you know they're kind of the glue that kind of keeps the defense together. Um, and they are also some guys that can really make your defense great.